Namaskar everyone. Hope you are all doing great. This is Ramesh. In this video, I would like to suggest one book by Dr. Veer Savarkar. The book's name is Six Great Epochs of Indian History. I would request everyone to read the book. I would also uh, share the reasons why I'm telling everyone should actually read this book. The first reason is in the current world, there are so many great people like Dr. Sai Deepak, the Supreme Court uh, um, lawyer, always talks about one particular thing. What he primarily tells is, if you look at the the history, what we read in the textbooks, it shows that there are the invaders who ruled India for a long time about their great victories and all that. But not many people really know from the textbooks what's the other side. How did India or the Indian rulers try to protect themselves, protect their people? How did they um, attack uh, these invaders? Nobody talks about that. So that's the reason why I thought of reading from a person like Dr. Veer Savarkar, because most of you know that there were a lot of controversies around uh, uh, Veer Savarkar, and I will try to discuss that in another video. But in this video, so that's the reason why I try to read his book, so that I'm pretty sure he's going to talk about how the Indian rulers during that time tried to protect our people. The book definitely talks about that. The book tells about why Alexander is not great, because that's what was taught in all the history books. This book clearly says how much Alexander has actually invaded India. And is he able to uh, invade every part of India? And how the uh, kings reacted and what's the way they uh, they protested or they fought against this great uh, fighter. So this book talks about all of that pretty clearly. That's the first thing which I liked in that book. And the second thing, everyone thinks this may be a religious uh, related book where it must be saying pro Hindu and against Muslims. That's another thing which I want to talk about. Not everything is a Hindu Muslim problem. I don't see there is a problem uh, in India uh, with the Hindu Muslim uh, population. It's only in some of the poor political mindset. Otherwise, people are living happily. They will live happily forever as well. So this book is not really saying that, oh, uh, the Muslims are bad or anything. There's nothing like that. This book basically says that what are the challenges with the Indian rulers? What are all the different challenges they have faced during the time when the invaders are invading? Which may be like the caste systems and other, which, or maybe the dharma which they are following. They may not be that strict on the invaders, so that caused some problems. And there is no unity among all these Hindu rulers. That may be another problem why they were not able to attack uh, the invaders in, in the best possible way. But still, they fought it. And then who are all the great uh, warriors who fought it? It talks about that. That's the second most important thing. And the the last uh, important thing which I really liked in that book is it shows a different version because whenever you basically uh, look at a particular problem, like let's say uh, a political uh, problem, you generally see from one particular version because you listen to that version or you may feel comfortable listening to that particular version. This book talks about both the versions. It tells the pros and cons of both sides so that 
you can easily understand that okay this may have happened because of this particular reason so it gives that sort of uh, broad perspective about what's positive and what's negative so that's the beauty of this book so that's the main reason why i request everyone to read this book try to understand our history try to learn about the great warriors who fought against the invaders if you like my views or even if you don't like it please subscribe share and please comment thanks for watching